Hello and welcome back. My name is Dave and this is Fuzzy Tutorials. Okay, so we just had <clears throat> some recent stuff going on with Facebook here which has inspired this video. So here I'm going to show you how to uh, secure your Facebook. There's been a lot of people getting their accounts hacked. So I'm going to show you in this particular case what's getting them hacked and how to prevent people from being able to hack your account. So we're going to be talking about two-factor authentication, what it is, how it works, why you should use it, and we're going to get into that. So let's get started. Alright, thanks for sticking with me. So here I am on my Facebook page. First, um, first I'm going to talk a little bit about what this hack is. People are sending messages with a, an article for you to, do, to view, something with a provocative title. And when you go to view that document, it will tell you that you need to be a member of the site that's hosting the article. So it'll ask you to either log in or create a new account. And chances are you've never heard of it before, so you're going to go to create a new account. And it's going to present as the main option, giving you uh, using your Facebook account as your basis for making a new account there. So you'll click on that button, and then it'll ask you for your password to authenticate you and bam they got you and then they'll they'll wait a little bit and then they'll log into your account and then they're going to start sending out a bunch more of these messages to other people before they start doing weird stuff on your account and other people are more likely to go with it because they see it's from somebody they know and trust somebody tried to do this with me and they were not able to get into my account because I use two-factor authentication. Now I'm going to show you how to use it. First you go into uh, profile settings here and you go down to settings and privacy. We'll click on that and we'll go into settings and then we're going to go down to security and login. Okay so before we do anything the first thing we want to do is is make sure that there's no one logged in under your account. We're going to do something, it's going to seem a little redundant, but there's a reason for it. So the first thing you're going to do is you're in this section called where you're logged in. So you're going to pop this down and go see more. And then down in the lower right corner, you've got log out of all sessions. So you're going to click on that. And then it's going to log you out of every device. So we'll click on that and now they're all logged off except for the session that we're in right here so that if somebody is lo currently logged into your system you know a hacker this forces them out and then you need to immediately go in and change your password so you put in your current password put in your new password save your changes and try and pick a password that's that is not necessarily easy to remember because once you've put it in somewhere um, unless you log back out specifically you you won't have to put that password back in and most people their browsers will log them back in automatically uh, same thing goes for your other devices and that automatic login is why you have to do this specific thing of forcing everybody off so, and then once you've changed your password, uh, just take a quick look here where it says where you're logged in and make sure nothing new is in there. So if somebody got kicked out, you want to make sure they didn't get back in before you were able to change your password. Okay, so now you've got your password changed, you immediately want to go down here and turn on use two-factor authentication. 
Now, we'll just uh, pop in here. Okay, so if you look down here, um, oh, and this, this button, you'll have to turn it on. Mine's currently on, so the option says turn off. Now you've got a couple of different flavors that you can do. And one is sending a text message to your phone. And the other is using an authentication app. So by having both of these turned on, it doesn't mean you have to do both of them every time. What this does is when you're logging in from say a mobile device like a phone or a tablet, then it's going to use the text message method for authentication. If you're logging in on a computer, uh, then it's going to make you use an authentication app to generate the code. And to do that, you'll need to um, because you're not logged in under under Facebook uh, on your computer, you'll need to go to your mobile device and log into Facebook. And now I'll I'll pop over to my phone and record that to so you can see how that's done there. Okay, so here we are on my iPhone. So we'll go into Facebook. And now you get to experience how the two-factor authentication works. So now that I put my password in, it's going to ask me or send me a code. So that's how it works on when you're logging in. So now on your phone, we're going to go to those three little lines in the lower right corner there. And then we're going to scroll down the page and we're going to go to settings and privacy. This, by the way, is where you access that, that code generator. So if you need, if you're being asked for a code, but it's not sending you anything to your phone, this is what you do. You come in here and you hit your code generator. It's going to give you that code. And then you put that code into your computer or whatever other device you're trying to log in on. But since we're not needing it, we'll just get out of there. And if you're trying to do all of this stuff on your phone, we'll just hit the settings button here. And then we'll go down to security and login. And then it's basically going to be the same set of steps. So where you're logged in, we'll see all, log out all sessions. And then when you're done that, you come and change your password. And then just go back up and check, make sure nobody else is logged in. And then go in and change your two-factor authentication. And it's basically going to look the same, so I won't take you through that again on the phone. See you back on the computer. Okay, so once you've hit your code generator and get, gotten your code, then you'll have that code to log in the first time. And if you, if you switch a browser or you log in, of course, on another machine, you'll have to do that process again. But... What that means is that nobody is going to be able to log in even if they've got your password. And that's exactly why I didn't get hacked. And in this day and age, I think it's a very necessary thing to do. So we're not going to get into this here right now. This video is getting a little long already. So 
watch out for a future video where I'll take you through setting up your extra app passwords. But if you implement the changes I've shown in this video right now, you will be secure. So even if somebody does get your password, they still can't get logged into your account. And then you need to keep an eye on your notifications because you will get notified if somebody tries to access your account and, and they didn't uh, pass authentication. Now I knew because of two things that somebody had tried to access my account and the first one is that they uh, of course created a message to get sent to my phone and I didn't remember logging into any place new so I knew there was a problem right away and then when I got onto Facebook and so when I opened up my notifications there was a notification in there telling me that someone had failed authentication. Now I can't show it to you because once I clicked on it and went into it then it disappeared from my notification list. Okay so that's it for this tutorial folks. Thank you for stopping by and if you like what we're doing here make sure you subscribe and if you want to get notified of uh, future videos coming out make sure to hit that notification bell and take a moment to hit that like button unless you really don't like it then that other button works too we'll see you soon bye for now